The Mandela Mining Precinct is actually the, the center for innovation in South Africa. It's a public-private partnership. And uh, we at um, Simine, Mining Simulation, bring the whole mining system together. So we approached the, uh, the Mandela Mining Precinct um, last year. We've been in discussions with them for about a year as they were developing the precinct. And we look at bringing the whole mining system together around the people, the interconnected activities, together with the work processes and what it will look like, what the mine of the future will look like. First and foremost, we have an interactive simulation which allows us to test a lot of the different uh, improvements, uh, innovations for the mining industry of the future, so we can test that in our simulated environment, both in a practical way and also in a virtual uh, way. The second thing we do is a lot of networking and collaboration sessions with various people in the mining industry. You know, anything from technical advancement through to how organisations should uh, design themselves and interact. Uh, and then thirdly, we're uh, an education facility. So we're helping various levels in the organisations and uh, involved in mining to understand systems thinking, the importance of variation and how it affects outcomes in their businesses. What we're doing to try to attract the youth is trying to get uh, high school learners, learners and also varsity students. So today we had learners from Real Ojile High School in Alexandra, where about 40 learners come through, they experienced what we're doing here, took them through the sort of our entire um, center here. So we looking to make this an ongoing relationship and an ongoing partnership with schools where we get youth um, into our center to expose them to mining and the, the future of mining. So we're looking at the entire system. So the entire system means looking at the education system from an early age. So we're looking at getting younger kids in so that we can change the system from the beginning so that we get them exposed at an early age so that by the time they're ready to go into industry and work, they're already aware and they sort of make the right decisions around the career paths that are available to them in mining and the future of mining.